is the St. Elizabeth's graveyard in Donald, uh, in the shadow of the scenic moat. And the huge mausoleum behind me is the Cleland Mausoleum. Uh, the Clelands were a very wealthy, well-known family. You can see that this, head, this mausoleum uh, dates back to 1842. And they lived nearby. They lived in a, a big uh, house called Stormont Castle, originally called Stormont, and then it was changed to Stormont Castle. That, of course, is now part of the Northern Ireland Parliament is near there, and Stormont Castle these days is used for, by the Secretary of State when they're, where, when they're actually doing some work. The Clelands wanted a mausoleum that they could see from their house at Stormont Castle, and that is perhaps why it is so tall. So you can actually see, apparently, in this mausoleum uh, from Stormont Castle. And this uh, mausoleum, it is the tallest one in Northern Ireland, possibly even in Ireland. It's a very fine uh, mausoleum. And the, one of the Clelands, Samuel Clelands, I think his name was, he was actually uh, killed uh, by a falling uh, wall when they were doing some work on, on the estate. So he is amongst the family members buried in this huge mausoleum in the grounds of St Elizabeth's and Donald.